Okay, everybody, I'm so excited to do the full moon and Pisces energy reading. We are in that energy right now. And I just did Pisces reading. Whether you're Pisces or not doesn't matter. You need to know what's going on with the Pisces collective because the Pisces full moon is affecting all of us. And whatever's happening in that energy is actually happening for all of us. The energy that came off of that was seductive and powerful. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an all signs reading. Every single sign will be represented in this reading. It's going to see how we are all playing out in this pool of energy together in this dark matter that we're all swimming through. We are all connected through energy. So sometimes when I'm going through my life and I'm completely different sign from my friends, we will talk about what's going on in our lives and like the same thing is happening to me. It's just playing out completely differently. That is correct. And we all have different signs that help us with that. And we all have different things that are happening in our astrology charts. So I know there's a big thing happening with Jupiter right now, moving through signs. I think it's going into the sign of Capricorn. Uh, and I think it goes there until November 20th. I think we might even already be going in there right now. And then we have the Mercury retrograde is going to be in Libra. So we need to dive into that stuff and see what's going on energetically as well. So let's get right to it. Remember, this is a general reading and will not resonate with every single person on the planet. The energies can be reversed. So assign the roles as you please. If it doesn't resonate with you, just stick around because there may be something in it that you need to hear. These messages are timeless. So if you're brought to this channel, this reading, there's something that is in it for you. During the reading, the angels are bringing the Holy Fire Reiki energy to you. If you want the all signs reading that I just did before this one that had all of the signs in it, it's in the link right above me at the top of the screen. And I always have suggested videos at the end. I am doing personal reading, so check out the link on the screen or in the description box down below. If you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. This way you get notified as soon as I post something new. I'm only accepting the highest and best truth for the highest and best good for the entire collective that is watching this video today. All right, guys. While I'm shuffling for the theme of what's going to happen during the Pisces full moon, and then we're going to check out every single sign and see what they're bringing in that energy in the pool of dark matter, right? All right, so I want to thank all the people that have helped me get to 2,000 subscribers. Everybody who's already subscribed, thank you so very much. Those of you who keep coming back to my channel, if you're new here, thank you for coming and checking out my channel. I appreciate that. I also want to thank the people who've donated, who've clicked on my links who, in the description box, who have gotten personal readings from me, who've watched my videos and the ads, and who've texted me and all those things, who've left comments. Thank you so much for every all of that. I'm trying to go for a goal for 3,000 subscribers if you're not yet subscribed then please take a moment to do so now. I'd really appreciate that. And let's see what's going on. What's the main theme for all of us, every single sign, the whole collective? What are we all working on together? Indecisions, wow. And pride and courage. All right, I got a couple of things. On the bottom, it has to do with our loneliness that we've created in our lives. All of us. All of us have some sort of loneliness that we, we don't feel as connected maybe. There's a lot of disconnection on the planet um, through multiple, for, for different reasons. And I can go on and on and on and on and say what those are. But there's a book that's in the link in the description box that talks about, uh, it's called Heal Healing Human Disconnect. Being the cause, that's it. Being being the cause of healing human disconnect something like that it's written by a, a doctor in psychology a phd doctor it's so good and it kind of just explains why we're so disconnected on this planet and it's really awesome um she has a youtube channel as well so you should check it out it's called dr judy she's amazing um but it's about this loneliness that has caused a lot of indecisions. So when I just read the Pisces reading, there is somebody who's coming into Pisces that uh, that did not tell them the full truth. And because of that full truth, there has been some indecisiveness around that relationship on both sides, on both parties. There has been some pride that has an ego that has gotten in the way of these relationships um, or in the way of our life. And it's going to take courage to do something new and do something different. Pisces is a very deep sign. 
you're gonna be in the feels with this one. This is a water sign. It is an emotional sign. So you're gonna be in the feels when it comes to the full moon. We're gonna start with Pisces. I'm, actually, I'm gonna do 12 card spread. And an advice card that goes with it. So I want 12 cards. And if I have to clarify, I will. For right now, let's just see what comes out. And what is the advice? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right. The overall, the overall, is the five of wands. The overall energy of the Pisces full moon that's coming up right now is this five of wands, which is. This is actually a, a good thing. It's a joyous thing. I know it looks like people are fighting, but this also could just be a lot of people around it. Um, it could be lots of conversation and differences, and maybe it's just it's a lot about conversation. It could be disagreements and conflicts, but I'm not really feeling it on that. I feel like it's more harmonious than that. Um, I do feel like this is more of a victory, and the reason why I feel that is because the next card that came out is the world. And the world is probably one of the best cards that you can get when it comes to energy. It's about um, accomplishment and uh, seeking personal closure. It's about if there were any delays in a relationship, it's all going to come to completion. So this right here is about multiple conversations and multiple, it doesn't even have to be multiple people. It could just be multiple because swords are, or, I'm sorry, wands are conversations. So it's like multiple conversations coming out that's going to have a sense of completion. Now, whether it's fully complete or not, it's going to have a sense of accomplishment. And that, you know, you're going to be integrating new belief systems and new ideas to the mix. So let's find out what the main advice is. I don't want to do an advice for every single one. That's a lot of cards. So let's just, what's the main advice that we need to know? And if we need to clarify things, we will. So we do know it has to do with conversations. Make sure that in the conversations that we bring love into the situation. Because our commitment to each other is going to be tested. But we're really, really close to achieving these goals. Okay, so that's wonderful. Now let's see what's going on. There is a win-win outcome for everybody, so nobody has to fret and think that this is going to be competition. It could be good competition, right? Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be that. So the first sign that's coming out that we're going to talk about is Pisces. And I'm not going to separate this video because you need to see the cards that are before it and around it. You need to see the whole slew of energy um, to see what's really going on. If you just pick it out, pick out one detail, then you're not going to get the big picture. You're not going to see the whole thing. Okay. So Pisces is bringing the page of wands. Um, the page of wands, let's go ahead and bring this up here. The page of wands is about exploration. It's about excitement and freedom. It is also somebody bringing in some communication, whether it's you or someone else, but somebody is coming to someone else with communication about good news. Uh, it's something they can, you can trust. It could be in writing. It could be in reminiscing chats. Someone wants to express themselves. This is about being able to express yourself. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with the energy of Aquarius and what Aquarius is helping us with. All right, Aquarius, you're bringing us the Two of Swords, which is a crossroads. So we get to make a decision. The Aquarius, the Aquarius Collective, this energy is about a decision that we're going to be making. It could be a tough decision. Sometimes it's an impasse or just weighing the options. It could be a decision that we have been trying to avoid, but it's one that can bring us some inner clarity and will help us if we have clouded judgment. 
but this is definitely like a crossroads about communication. See how we have to see the cards near us? Because what are we crossroading? What are we What are we making a decision about? Maybe somebody comes and expresses himself and they need to make a decision on how you're going to respond or how you're going to act. All right, Aries, what kind of energy are you bringing? So Aries is bringing us the tower. With the tower, so, so what's going to happen is there's going to be some reminiscing chats coming in make about some crossroad that we're going to be looking at and where do we want to go which way do we want to go to move forward it's going to throw us into a tower so yes we're going to be in our emotional feels yes we're going to be feeling some things during this full moon um it could be quick it doesn't always have to be four days of crying it could be literally like um an old belief system goes away so the tower is about sudden change it's about uh, it could be chaotic for some of you uh, but it is about an awakening, a revelation that you may have. It's about a personal transformation. Um, and it's definitely just about change. Just something is changing. This full moon is going to change something. Open the doorway for something. All right, Taurus. Yours is about the six of cups, or that's a seven. The seven of cups, which is about searching for purpose. Um, you're going to have choices, lots of choices that you can make. Uh, and is it about seeing things that were once an illusion? Uh, maybe you had lacked some purpose in this area or not really sure where to go or what to do. So we have a communication coming in where it puts us as a crossroads of making a decision, throws us into a tower moment where we search for our purpose and make good choices about the illusions that we have seen in life. Okay. The next one is Gemini. What energy does Gemini bring to the table that we are all dealing with? What are we all dealing with? Oh, beautiful. Gemini, thank, Gemini, thank you for bringing this. It's the Nine of Cups. <laughs> beautiful. This is wish fulfilled. So with all of that, we're going to get our wish fulfilled. The chats come in. We see ourselves at a crossroad. We have a tower moment because of it. We see the illusion. And then we have our happiness in a cup, right? Happiness with lots of, lots of, that. all that yellow is happiness. It is satisfaction, it's emotional stability, it's true joy. That's what we're looking at when with this. Thank you, Gemini, for that energy and bringing that to the table. Cancer, what are we looking at through the eyes of Cancer? What's the energy that the eyes of Cancer are bringing, which is the Knight of Cups? The Knight of Cups is beautiful because the Knight of Cups is a proposal of romance, of friendship, of just being open to new love and... It's very idealistic, romantic partner. It's somebody following their heart this time instead of their logic. It's very, very beautiful energy. Thank you, Cancer. Leo, the Leo Collective, what are you bringing with us to this pool of energy so that we're all trying to deal with for the full moon in Pisces, right? The Lover's Card. Which is interesting because Leo Collective was the one who started the twin flame journey of the soulmate collective, the lovers, and Cancer got pulled into it, and Gemini got pulled into it, and Pisces and Libra got pulled into it. So here we go again. The, the lover's card, which is a major arcana that you're bringing to the table. You're the one that started this lovers thing that's going on with everybody. You're the one that made us look at all of our relationships about love and harmony, relationships and alignment and our choices. It's about self-love. And um, if any of our misaligned values, they're going to come into balance because the Leo Collective and that energy. Thank you so much. Virgo. What do we have with Virgo. Virgo is bringing in that higher perspective, the infinite intelligence, the um, higher intelligence. It's spiritual wisdom that has to do with all of this and that our angels and guides have their hand in this. This is all spiritually guided. Pisces, the emotional moon is going to bring out a lot of the things that we've all been waiting for for months and months and months and years and years and years. It's about our belief systems and how we're moving through life in love with our intimate partners, with our happiness. What brings us happiness? What are the things that need to move away and go away? All right, Sagittarius, what does it look like from your perspective and your angle? What's going on? What's the main focus of Sagittarius that's bringing to all of us? The star card. 
which is hope, of course. Sagittarius is the most positive sign, so that makes sense. <laughs> um, Sagittarius, the star card, hope and faith and purpose and renewal in, in, in our spirituality and renewal in our love. Uh, if you've had lack of faith, you're going to feel more like trusting yourself and trusting the divine. You're going to feel more connected through this full moon. Even though we're going through a tower moment, we're going to feel very connected. Even though we're going to have these reminiscing chats that may throw us into a tower moment, uh, because we see the illusions now, uh, it's like going to bring us to our happiness because of that positivity that Sagittarius is bringing to the table. Now, Libra, what are you doing with your balance scale? What are you bringing to the situation as well? <laughs> Libra. Libra's bringing us a little bit of anxiety. <laughs> um, so, because this relationship was is so, uh, it's it's almost secretive, right? The way we feel. Let's dive into this this anxiety a little bit and see what's going on. The we you know that that tower moment isn't just about a tower moment. It's going to be there's some anxiety coming to that as well because. We're going to be anxious going into new relationships. All we knew was the past and the hurt and the pain. Let's dive into that anxiety. Okay, it's not bad. <laughs> I guess it's just going because we're moving in a new direction. Oops. We're moving in a new direction and that causes and that change causes anxiety for everyone, right? But they are saying that it is a happy time, so nothing to worry about, nothing to be afraid about, but it is going to have us looking at and reviewing all of our pentacles, looking at and reviewing all of the things. Um, the long-term view, uh, the long-term perspective of, of what happened. What happened, where are we going, those types of things. And it, it could lead to this a wedding, right? This is a joyous wedding time. Some of you guys could be getting married because of this full moon. It might throw you into a marriage. Scorpio, what's Scorpio bringing? Scorpio is bringing that divine communication. So we have two cards of communication. We have the lover's card. We have the tower moment. We have the illusions being broken. We have moving in the right direction towards our happiness, more towards our happiness. This, this full moon is bringing us into our happiness. That is good. Very good. And the eight of swords is about change. Our Eight of Wands is about change. It's about movement. It's about quick decisions. It's about um, lots of communication. It's all about communication. It is definitely a card of movement. We have two cards of movement. So this, this is not going to be a full moon that makes us stall out. Not at all. This is a movement card. There's lots of things coming in. Capricorn, what's going on with you? Definitely the King of Pentacles, that's awesome. Beautiful energy to be brought by the Capricorn Collective through the perspective of Capricorn, which is um, my favorite king. And he is a hard worker. It's about routine. It's about um, being generous with each other, equal give and take, visionary, working hard through this, um, and resolving conflicts. At the end of all of this, this full moon is gonna help us resolve this conflict that never got resolved. This thing that never, and it's all spiritually guided. It's all the angels are there with us. For those of you who are dealing with love, let's let's get some love cards and see. Since um, Leo brought love into the situation, let's figure out what's going on. And for those of you who are not interested in love, but this is love and relationship, but there's definitely a twin flame thing going on right now, so we need to make sure in the soulmate cycle, uh, soulmates that are coming together, we need to see what's going on with these people. All right, so we have, this could be the one. We're healing the family issues. It is true love. Uh, the family issue is codependency. Um, so yeah, no, oh, that's pretty crazy. So this can be the one for those of you bringing in love. This could be the one for you. We definitely need to work on those family issues of codependency that, that created issues because it is true love for, for those of you with love. Let's look into this card right here. And... And then we'll look at some hidden truth cards because that's always fun. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Hidden. Why? Oh my gosh, I'm dropping everything. Two cards. Yep. It was right here. <laughs> Came right out. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. See, we're moving towards the new. That's what's happening. And twin flame. 
So for those of you working on that soulmate relationship, this definitely has to do with that. For those of you who are not, you're still working with the energy. And whether you're bringing in a twin flame or not, you still have that powerful energy. The twin flames make the world go round, right? They have that very strong energy. So it's not just about them. It's about, the, I mean, because love makes the world go round. The energy of love and the twin flames have to be on the planet to help us awaken, to advance, to grow, all of those things. All right, let's see. What are the hidden truths that we need that we need to learn about in this all signs reading for the full moon of Pisces? I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Somebody knows they messed everything up, so they got to come in, and that's what the tower moment is about. They're going to tell you. So in Pisces' case, somebody's going to tell them that they love them, that they've loved them forever <laughs> type of thing. And I feel you leaving me behind. So they want to do it because they know that you guys are either getting older and, you know, a lot of people in your lives have not lived. So it's like, you know, they feel like it's a now or never moment. That either happens now or it never happens, and they don't want the never. They don't, they don't want you to go away. You know, because last time they lost you um, or this relationship was lost, it took forever for them to find you again. So they're saying that the timing just wasn't right for you guys at that time, but it is now. And so they're ready now. They realize that it is now. They've had a lot of awakenings. They've had a lot of um, whoever this conversation is with that you guys are going to be having. They've had a lot of uh, profound guidance from the angels and guides they've had a lot of things slapping them in the face they've had a lot of karmic lessons so they're ready to have this conversation with you so it looks like we're all going to be having so we've had conversations from august september and now we're moving this full moon of pisces is opening up the door for more conversations oh my gosh Okay, well, I hope that you guys like this reading. If you're entertained in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Um, and the all signs reading is right here on the screen. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye.